sexuality and the love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey everybody, it's Bloodline. I'm Adam, that's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist, Sugar Ray here tonight. We wow. Got, uh, How funny is that? Good evening. What's We're going excited. on, Los Angeles? <laughs> Craig, uh, a.k.a. DJ Homicide, is here along with uh, Mark McGrath. And, uh, <gasps> it's good to see you guys again, man. It's, it's great to be back here. Thank you. You guys look healthy. Yeah, everyone's yeah. healthy and fine. You guys are in such a great mood. I know. It makes like, me whoa. suspicious. <laughs> Why are you guys in a bad mood? you got a great job. We're no, we're in a medium mood, aren't we? Always? We're just happy to get back on K Rock. We're excited. It's, right, it's the excitement <laughs> that, we're, that bothers us. Yeah, K Rock. See, Adam's barely has a pulse. See. Yeah, that's true. Somebody that's excited. He's really on his phone. Like, he's like, yeah, another show. I like to think of myself as just a, a cat that just woke up from a nap, and a three-year-old just run into the room, and it wants to chase the cat's tail, and I'm just sort of one. I want to get, get in the other room so bad. I want to get up on the refrigerator. <laughs> Yeah, here you go. That's what I need. I need my. Where's my uh, symbolic refrigerator to climb we on top of? Right right there. There. Where is it, Drew? On top of the equipment there. Just head on up there. Oh, shut up. Stop licking yourself. Uh, Sugar Ray, we're going to uh, hear something off the uh, medium new uh, CD in the pursuit of uh, leisure. <laughs> I, I think we're going to hear two songs. I think uh, you are, too. By the way. Yeah. Let's just bum yeah. everybody out and play like two, man. Yeah. Now, we may play more. We, we may. Maybe we'll, that play, kind of show. Uh, we'll play whatever you want in the uh, first uh, hour, and then uh, whatever you want in the second hour. And then the third hour, I'm going to pick the song, because I'll be in my car. We exactly. love that. Yeah. And now, Mark, did you get a tat removed? I did, dude. I got a, I got a tattoo on my neck. And, right. And um, I've, I've learned that, uh, you know, don't let Jack Daniels pick out your tattoos, mm-hmm. especially when you're going through the neck. You know, your arms yeah. is cool and all that. When you go right. in the neck, it's a little different. You know, we went but, together, man. It was like yeah. after a Christmas show, man. Yeah, we just and had I, a couple I, drinks and I ended up with it, neck ink. Is that how long has that been laser? laser? This has been like two applications. You know, yeah. it's like look, it looks like meatloaf, but it's supposed to be the Virgin Mary, so it's kind of a bummer. And it's, it's leaving now, but uh, <laughs> it, it's going away. I mean, it now works. I know why they put tattoo parlors by bars. I've learned that hard way mm. after 50, 50 tattoos. But yeah. All loaded. So I suppose it's not on. hard. I just I, I so thought I could drink. handle it and I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it it broke it up nicely. It did that. It's kind of kooky. No, I, I just mean like back in the day, they'd remove your tattoo by removing the chunk of skin that the tattoo was on, which didn't seem to make sense. And then you just had this huge keloid scar, and it was like, <laughs> the yeah, there's no. It looks whatever. like someone took six pieces of silly putty and mashed them <laughs> where your old naval ship used to be. <laughs> it's and cool. it's like it's yeah. more distracting now. I liked you with the yeah. tattoo. Now it looks like you've been in a fire. But this broke it up pretty nice. These lasers are pretty accurate, you know, and the, uh, the bloodstream takes the ink away, like the longer, you, longer it goes. So they, it can, they can be, pretty much be 100% gone, but uh, you know, it's a lesson to the kids out there. So now you can put another one on there. Yes, I do. I'm cleaning it up. You just keep getting them taken <laughs> off to get it right. Now. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's kind of well, I don't like this one. And does it go, what's it do? Goes into you? Do you pee it out? The laser? Do you remove it? Uh, no, not the laser. I'm talking about the ink. The ink. It I, breaks up. It, Goes it's in the into the blood. It's metabolized. Probably broken down into primary chemicals. Sometimes put out metabolized through the liver and put out in the pee. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So I wonder well, if the ocean gone is in. in the pee. Full of lost that's what that tattoos was. now. Is that a definition of a golden shower? No, no. Oh, no? All right, here we go. All right, you Leave guys want to take some calls? Sure. Why not? Why not? Let's talk to uh, Lindsay. Hello. You're 16. Yes, sir. What's, What's up, up, Lindsay? Um, a couple of days ago, you know, my boyfriend. We had sex, but it wasn't, like, all the way, and he usually pearls a lot. He what? He usually pearls a lot. Comes pearls? Before, pearls? Before. Jizzes? Huh? Was it, what, was, what was that? He pearls. Ejaculates? Yeah. Pearls? Oh, that's a new song. Are the kids yeah. saying that in the school now? Wait a minute. Pearl, that, is, that, is that something that happens before? <laughs> I thought you could only do that on a surfboard. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Is that something he does before he ejaculates? Yes. So little pearls emerge. Oh, oh no no oh. no no! Wait a minute! Can you Jake the jeweler? You got a pearl or ejaculate? You can't do you can't do both. Yeah, no, that pearl becomes before ejaculation. I'm kidding. Yeah. I know that now. And I'm like 32. I never heard of this term. Before. Wait a minute, Lindsay, clarify yeah. this. What is a pearl, pearl? is this stuff defined? That comes before you ejaculate. There you go. And it's so it's just a guy who's got a bad gasket, right? Yeah. Okay, it's, that's strange. It's the pre pre right. I see. Now they call it purling because it, uh, you know, breaks it up. It's kind of clear. Where's the uh, David Unger vomit sound effect? Uh, Lindsay. Yeah. Dude, do you ever, you ever think anything's gonna come because no. you asked for it? I, really <laughs> I did not expect it. <laughs> There's no one even here. That. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Lindsay. Yeah. All right. So, wait, is purling a full load or is that just like pre-cum? Pre-cum. Pre-cum. Oh, yeah, it's the pre-cum. Right. story of my life. 
Right. It's the prequel. That's what we call it now. <laughs> That's, All right. what, that's what everyone's that's calling the kids it. kids call it. Okay. Write great. that down. I'm writing it down. Well, I think it's obvious that you could become pregnant for that, right? I don't know. That's well, what it, I was listen, calling for. If we had the pearl necklace back in yeah, our day, though. What happened to that? I think that's where it came from. Oh, yeah. That's a full load, though. Yeah. Like, true, true. Uh, good times. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the... the uh, Oh, disgusting! <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to live too. <laughs> the the uh, it's obvious that you could, Lindsay. I, I don't even. I think you're sort of making this question up because it's like you're you're making a Me? point of saying he has a large amount of semen there, and he puts it inside you. Could I get pregnant? Well, let me stretch my imagination. Yeah, yeah you could. So, uh, but it's worth making the point that uh, any time anyone puts a penis in the vagina, there's a potential for pregnancy. You ought, so you ought to take that morning after pill if you've done that unprotected. Amen. All right. Okay. So um, could I take right. um. Can I take the morning after pill? Yes. You yeah, can. you can do that, too. No, this is, that was a week yeah. ago, right? Yeah. No. All right, Lindsay. Cool. Hey, hey, She's good, though. She got in. She got some questions. We're all confused. Yeah. yeah. She <laughs> that, she had to, all right, uh, I think she actually intended to expose us to that new term. Is that right. why you're not wearing pants? I'm using that every day. That's, yeah, me too. It's over. It's a wrap. All it's right, Lindsay. It's pearl tonight. <laughs> hey, babe, I got a pearl of wisdom right down here. <laughs> Gonna need you to... Earl the pearl. I got a new <laughs> line. <laughs> Nicole? Yes. Hey, uh, what's going on? You're 16. Yeah, um, I've only been with two guys, and neither one of them could get me to orgasm during intercourse. Mm -hmm. You got and a long people, life in front of you. <laughs> yep. All right. People, like, I've talked to people about it, and they tell me to relax, and I'm totally relaxed when I'm with my boyfriend, and I just don't understand what's going on. So you, you have a full-time boyfriend now? Yes. Or regular or just, yeah, on the weekends. Can I be? No. Can I be a little personal? Yeah, Doctor Drew. Huh? Um, do you ever uh, pleasure yourself? Yeah. Are you able to uh, achieve uh, achieve orgasm in that way? Yes. So you you definitely have the possibility, Doctor Drew. Well, help you, me out. I'm not sure I'm clear what she said. So she's having trouble having orgasm during intercourse. Yes. Okay, that will always be the case. Yeah. Very few women actually orgasm during intercourse. None. What? No, you can hear the in Ohio last week. Did you yeah, I mean, some no, do, if you're a human jackhammer, I mean, no, it no, works. It, it doesn't necessarily. So, some women no. need, Someone's need. been lying to me. There's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of pressure when that, you know, the band's there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I know. They're man. performers. You do a little performance. No, we're good. Yeah. We're good. We know. Mirrors, staring at myself, grabbing no, my boobs. Over half women do not have orgasm during intercourse. No they, kidding. They have it only with direct stimulation or oral sex. So she's never capable of doing that. She may not be. She, she would have to have direct stimulation like oral sex. She's 16, though, Dr. Drew. And most 16-year-olds yeah. don't have orgasms at all, but she's ahead of the curve that way. She's right. able to have... Well, most 16-year-olds don't know what they like either, right? Most 16-year-old women are... are Different biologically than sixteen-year-old males. The, the whole the whole sexual uh, system isn't even coming online yet, really, and they have to sort of under, they get connected to it in an emotional way. Many of them in order to have a sexual experience, which they're not capable of doing which either. They, they're yeah. just not. Yeah, not. Wired Can she up communicate there. with him and like tell him what she likes and how these guys that, like that, go after it? Dude, she's right looking thing. at his Nike. She's that not caring be, about his mental. But this guy's got like a Volcom shirt on. He's like, yeah. Yeah. she's in. That'd be the right thing to do. Hey, Nicole. Yeah. Hey, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're having orgasms. It's just not uh, when through intercourse, right? Yeah. All right. And that's normal. Okay. I don't want to sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. You're good. Okay. Right. Thank do you. you. Do you ever fake one? Huh? Yeah, on occasion. Only with, oh, only with okay. Mark. You're ahead of everybody. <laughs> Come on. Smart. You got to be at least 17. She's got to be older than 16. <laughs> she knows it all. You know, I think a woman, if she faked it good enough, might be able to sort of fake herself out a little bit too like do we it. care though anyway no you no. know what's really cool is when a guy fakes it to get out of there yeah, really watch you got a rubber on you just like Ugh, sports oh, center's rubber. on you're like yeah. all right denzel yeah. what's that <laughs> <laughs> i just think like Sorry. you know you can think you're hypnotized sometimes if you try hard enough even when you're really mm -hmm. not yeah. you know what i'm saying it's a physiological yeah. thing though adam it's not necessarily uh, you know it's not yeah. really yeah. tell him mark i will dr mcgrand yeah, let's see. Uh, all right. it's not only a rock star Kevin, you know, legend is online. <laughs> Mark, what's yes. up? Kevin, I mean. Oh, yes. I, I want to say, uh, Sugar Ray, you guys are pimps. Oh, thank you. And Dr. Drew, you're totally awesome. He is awesome. Andrew, I agree. Really what's cool. up, Kevin? And hi, Drew. How are you doing? Good. I mean, not and, Drew, Adam. I was going to double Drew. Right. Hey, Kevin, you're pretty cool, too, dude. You're a pimp as well. Thank you. Adam, I think you just should totally run for California. I used to live there in right. Corona. And my we're, question we're, is... Corona. Schwarzenegger now. Corona. Yeah. All right. What's up? Uh, I want to know, Sugar Ray, how did you guys get together? Um, you know what? We we were friends first down in Newport Beach, California. 
decided to start a band 15 years ago, and here we are. You know, it's, it's basically guys that got together for the love of music, and uh, and we're fortunate enough to still be playing today. You know, Mo, I will always remember for you guys. This. What? I, what? No, it's what actually kind of cool. Okay, cool. Because uh, my wife grew up in Newport, and I've spent a lot of time there. Uh, indeed. Oh, the and, connection. And, and we were at the Irvine Meadows, I think the first time you were on stage there or something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Weenie Rose? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it was sort of weird for you guys. You're like, boy, here we are. You know, this is where we grew up around this, yeah. and here we are. That was our 80s amphitheater. Yeah. You know, we I, saw Hart, like one of the Bunnymen, Psycho Like Furs, and others. Yeah, you, you know? were oh, really? To, I remember you saying to one of them, oh, my God, this is like, and, and yet you already were a big band at that point. Yet this was a meaningful oh, moment. Oh, the good old days. You got to stop and smell the flowers. I'm really lucky. But speaking of governor do you know jack grisham from tsol is running for governor oh really adam yes. Grohl is running for governor. i knew that as well no well he's got to get the signatures together up. yeah well you know I, I saw the guys running around the grove today looking for signatures for adam but uh, <laughs> uh no but jack grisham uh, he's got wow. my he's got my vote all right applause dude from tsol you know him i'm sure he was, yeah. in, he was in here guys he's really cool you guys liked him oh, all right so vote for him jack grisham for governor california where's that guy at that's, uh, is that a fart or a clap? Engineer Anderson. <laughs> it's a flap. Back at uh, Westwood, too. I think I know that chick. How about we uh, hear something from Sugar Ray? Yeah. All right, how about it? Yeah. You know, uh, remember the other night I was uh, complaining about the no good music on the radio? <laughs> and I, I said, uh, so here's some uh, Elvis Costello and some Joe Jackson, some yeah. uh, John Hyde, some good of that. segue, man. I like we got that. A, they're, uh, they're covering old Joe Jackson song. Nice. And, and let me tell you this about Joe Jackson. People... Got started with Joe Jackson. They 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 picked up with his career in the mid '80s, but they forget about Look Sharp and I'm the Man in his first couple albums Absolutely. in the uh, early '80s, late '79, '80, '81. In there, great, great stuff. Gia. Yeah. And uh, this is a, a great song off of one of those albums. Right on. Thank you very much. Good Ray, everybody. Doing a classic Joe Jackson. That is song. a classic, isn't it? Oh, is that you know that song technically? We'll be 25 years old in uh, probably uh, six or eight months. Technically? What do you mean technically? Well, I just mean it, it, it did come out, as uh, Mark was oh, uh, we pointing didn't know out. It, we it was didn't like know it, it came out in like 79. I mean, Look wow. Sharp, the album came out in Yeah, 79. the album came down, out in 79. That, that song got a little popular a few years later. And then it kind of hung around and kicked around a little. For so a it, feels like a it feels like a mid-80s. It feels like a mid-80s kind of It stayed in recurrent status the entire 80s, if you will. Really? Yeah. Right. If so you will. It, it, uh, and I will. That song was probably recorded about 25 years ago. Wow. Indeed. That's amazing. Probably the charts, but still in our hearts. No doubt. <laughs> My dad always says that. All right, That's where I got it from. Let's uh, <laughs> see if we can squeeze a few more calls in here. Jessica? Oh. Yeah. You're 23? Yeah. What's up? Um, I want to ask Dr. Drew um, if he knew much about EMDR treatment for PTSD. I don't know much about it, but I know that there's a lot of excitement about it and a lot of people are using it. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know enough even to tell you whether you should or shouldn't do it or who should or should be doing it to you. I know that people I respect <laughs> greatly uh, think it's an okay thing. Are you down with OPP? It, it, EMDR is, is this is post traumatic stress yeah, disorder? Yeah, what is that? She, you were probably were you sexually abused or something growing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sexual abuse history. My bad, sorry. And, and EMDR is this peculiar way of using eye movements. It's almost like a hypnosis. Oh, that thing. A, yeah, that works. Animal. It, it apparently does. It, it, it's a certain technique they use, and for particularly for post traumatic stress, it, and it, it really brings up the event. Well, it, it it's sort of the thinking is that it reprograms the brain a little bit. Maybe the guy who did that abused so it's the like person. a reset button. It's a reset button of sorts. I, I'll wow. tell you, I have greater like confidence. Disposal. Just got greater <laughs> confidence with it, it with uh, phobias. You know, if you like can't get on a plane, things like that. I found that really works. But it doesn't hurt, at least, with uh, the kinds of things you're dealing with. I, I personally believe that real intensive, long-term interpersonal therapy is what, you know, intersubjective experiences and yeah. psychotherapy is what's necessary for mm -hmm. you. What happened to you? Um, I don't remember too much of it. I was molested before I was like eight. I just remember very bits, little bits and pieces. And then I had an episode when I was a teenager. Somebody was touching me in my sleep and I'd wake up and stuff was going on with me, but I don't know who was doing it. So... You don't know who was touching you yeah, when alleged, you were a teenager? Yeah, allegedly it was my father, but I didn't have any way to prove it, so I don't know. You'd wake up and the person would have vanished as yeah, you woke my, up? Yeah, my door would be open. He'd be like the only one home, so I'm guessing it was him. But um, I'd have my boxers pulled aside and wake up from a funky dream, or I'd have stuff on my face. That kind of... Well, what was on your face? face? Ah, okay, I think, you know, 
Uh, do you really want to? <laughs> I, I just like hearing it. Pearl, dude. Pearl. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, exactly. Are you a Laker fan? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this does not. This is I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to get not, that. This isn't fitting together for me, by the way. No, me neither. Why? What part do you nurse in? The feeling, I get. Really? Yeah. What does it's it? a lot of shows, Mark. You guys act like you do this every night. <laughs> 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 um, you don't give us the feeling that most of our callers who've been abused give us. Yeah. Right? Well, I, I don't know who makes up waking up with stuff on their <laughs> yeah. face and just seeing the back of their dad's in the room. Yeah. If you're, yeah. so you're going to do that to your daughter, you don't want to leave the evidence. Is, if this That's is something a good point, else. Yeah. Just, you don't want to leave, else. like, you know, stay of DNA clam chowder else. on her face. All right. All right. <laughs> Jessica? Yeah. These guys are all class. I don't think they're face. School on Saturday. No <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Keep, keep looking into things. That's fine. But yeah. I, I wonder if the sexual abuse issue is going to be as central as Listen, everybody lock their door. Lock your bedroom door. Yeah, but it's, it's supposed to be your dad, man. Yeah. Your dad's supposed to come in and tuck you in, man. They probably got the Listen, key anyway. My dad tuck you. He could have got to me while I was asleep. Yeah. He would have done the same thing, and he told me so. <laughs> and you know what? I respected him for saying that. Because he looked me in the eye when he said it. <laughs> One of the eyes. It was clothing was closed. That's all right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Woo! Don't, start, don't start these guys yeah. having fart humor. They'll yeah, really. Stop. Yeah. That's Mark's thing. Oh, like I'm the first guy. Amy? Yeah. <laughs> You're 23? Yeah. What's up? I want to know how effective the pill is. Nearly 100%. Well, yeah, but or isn't there, like, an instance where, like, it just doesn't work on someone? Well, Dr. I mean, that would be the nearly part. What if they don't <laughs> take it in the perfect time every day? Like that, you know, that may affect it, but really the pill done, taken close to the same time every day is essentially 100%. What if you, you miss it? You'd, you'd have a... Then you should use a second barrier the rest of the month. But I think a lot of girls miss a day. Well, then they should use the patch or the shot or something else where that isn't so likely. The five-year shot? That's a lot of stuff. No, no, just the patches. They're once a week or the uh, three-month shot. But but you the fact shot, is, yeah, patches. When you and, and you're, and you're basically more likely to, to win the lottery than to get pregnant on the pill. I have a question, Doctor Drew. Yeah. What about this pill that they invented for the guys? Yeah, it's common. And I've been hearing it's, it's going to no come any day. It. It's pearl. <laughs> it, you'll, you'll still be coming when, we, when it comes out. Does it like dilute the pearl? I mean, it, it, de it deactivates the pearl. <sighs> yeah, boy, it's kind of like krypton. Is that it? Spent uranium. What do you mean? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Is that oh, it? Yeah. It just takes it, away the pearl and not the finale. The pill? This girl started some the new. Pill, the, the male, the male pill will pearl will Bailey make sperm <laughs> unable to. The clam the does not have the pearl. <laughs> You back to clam chowder. Make either make yes. it so the sperm can't can the egg, can't penetrate the egg, or not enough sperm around. Right. One of the other. Ones. Right. All right, Amy. Yeah. Just uh, listen. Stop being so neurotic. Just take the pill. All right. Well, I am on the pill. Oh, okay. Right, you're then good. You're Are not you pregnant? Get pregnant. Okay. Well, she's, she's just yeah, making well, sure. We stopped, we stopped using condoms, and so I was like, well, you know, just kind of struck mm. my mind. He's like, well, call Doctor Drew. And all right. <laughs> Tell him you're, you're you're good. You're good. You're on, you're on your second month of pill. Excuse me? You're in your second month, second go-round at least? I'm on my third year. I just Ah, you're you know. fine. You're good. Well, she doesn't watch out for the other stuff. Just take though. it proper. That's you're good. You've got to watch out for STD still, but it's the same boyfriend, yeah. I assume. And watch out. No bareback. You can't I trust saw, anybody. If, if you miss a pill, if you miss a day, is you really screwed for the month? Yes. Really? Uh, yes. You, you're, you're, Mark takes them, you no longer High school, 88. <laughs> you no longer have that nearly 100%. You're now on like 99. Yeah, Sometimes. I mean you're still you're still, you're way still up very there. effective, and you, they have to double up, and they're still very effective. But the recommendation is you use a second barrier the rest of that month. All right, Craig and Mark uh, both here from Sugar Ray. Yes, sir. We'll uh, take ourselves a quick break, and we'll Ready. be right back. Hey, everybody, it's Love Line. I'm uh, Adam. That's Doctor Drew. Sugar Ray here. We got Mark and Craig here from the band. Woo! Very excited to be here, man. The, we know uh, that. Yeah, that. we're excited to have you. It's going to hear uh, something else off the uh, new CD in the pursuit of leisure in the uh, eleven o'clock hour. And uh, if you want to know uh, anything about uh, Sugar Ray, you can just go to their uh, website www.sugarray.com. Oh, well, there's two R's there. Yeah. Oh, because it's pushed again. Right. All right, I'm hip. Two R's. Mm -hmm. Figured it out One real word. quick. All right. Where are we going here, Drew? You got a call you want to take? There you go, six. All right. Eric? Hey. You're 19? Yeah. What's up? Well, uh, I've been with the same girl for about a year now, and uh, we've, sex life has been really good. Like, there's never been any problems up until about the last three weeks. Um, whenever, like, before we have sex, whenever we're doing our foreplay and everything, everything's fine. And then whenever I get inside her, I... 
for about two minutes or so, and then all of a sudden I just go soft. Mm. I don't ejaculate, I just go soft. Mm. Yeah. It, it's, it's not that you, cool for you, her. Did you get it back? Uh, sometimes, but these last three weeks, it's like, no, it hasn't. Are you on medication? No, none at all. You been tired or stressed or anything? Yeah, I work a lot. You guys had any problem in your relationship? No, it's actually it's probably been the best it's ever been recently. How often are you having sex? Huh? How often are you having sex? Um, probably once every other day or so. Uh -huh. Did you uh, slam your penis in a cab door? <laughs> <laughs> it happened to me once. Did and I didn't know what the problem was. I didn't know what the problem was. That's never happened to me, so I can't comment. Pearls start coming out of the, sh <laughs> out of the shaft. That's red when I knew there was trouble. Baby Jesus. <laughs> the, red pearl. the rare and the coveted rare. red pearl came out. <laughs> yes, and it came out the side of the shaft. That's the part. That's bad. That's when I knew. That was a good movie, man. Opening new holes uh, and raising friends. All right, so, uh, Eric. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe you ought to back off on the frequency. Well, a little time I mean, in between. Like, so, like he's 19. Yeah, but he's, he's going soft. Maybe it's too much. That's his problem. Is he's it tired, the, he's stressed. And is he's he wearing condoms? Good, another good question. No, she's on birth control. Uh huh. And why do you think you're going soft? I don't know. I kind of thought it was a little bit towards stress. I mean, uh -huh. nothing really. That's supposed to relieve her stress, bro. What about lubrication? Is she a little over lubricated down there? Yeah, she's, yeah she doesn't have a problem with that. <laughs> and I'm just saying, sometimes, you know, it's a real fine line between uh, too dry and too uh And Viagra. Red. Yeah. Yeah, drywall's yeah. weak. How about some Viagra? He, he's old enough. No. Come on. It's fun for everybody. What Red about that? A couple beers. Red Bull back. and Viagra. You'll be straight, dude. Yeah, really, dude. <laughs> this, this I will tell that. you no. I'll tell you yes. <laughs> he needs to just pay attention to the <laughs> <his own laughs> <ball laughs> <ball laughs> <ball laughs> He pays himself, get enough rest. All right. Pacing. Drew, uh, well, Drew well, doesn't believe you, by the way. I don't either. You're 19. I mean, unless you're... Maybe he's sick of the, you know, same old... I wish it didn't happen. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm I'm completely serious, and that's my uh, problem. Because I you're watching American like Idol that. too much. All right, so American Idol. Uh, I'm sorry. I have you ever had this problem with anybody else ever before? <laughs> no, never. Ooh. Never had the problem. And, and, never had and the you problem didn't ask. Hurt. You didn't answer Craig's question about the relationship. How's it going? It's going great. I mean, mm -hmm. we've we've uh, we had problems like early on, but it's never been better. What was that right problem? Now. The problem before is just she was <laughs> she she lied a lot at the beginning. Cheater? Just cheat? No, she never cheated. She just... She We've just all been there, bro. She's a BSer, pretty much. Yeah, yeah I know. Right. I think I know her. Listen, if a chick doesn't cheat, who cares if they lie? Well, <laughs> we're not even listening. God, I love you, Adam. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, does it? I, I wonder if maybe they're getting too intimate and that's freaking them out. Yeah, that's always a problem. Like he's thinking about the ring. <laughs> just He's just feeling overwhelmed. Around his collar? All right. If it's true, which I why, why do I? Does hey, you know why? Because he has a flat affect. Yeah, he doesn't have. Yeah. But there are people who like aren't that, lying. Yeah. They just don't have a. Well, you don't have a personality. Yeah. You should know. <laughs> He's giving her the elephant nose. It's like, <laughs> but Drew, you were born with that one, and I think these people lose lost theirs rules. in a war or something. You know, yeah, yeah. Drew rules. No, he's great. He's just slaying with us, I mean, though. Imagine if he had a personality, is all I'm saying. I mean, think how much better he would be. He's a good guy. He's no, just he's cool. good people. You know, he's like actually people. cool. We're really? trying to be cool. He is cool. <laughs> there you go. Now it's getting condescending. Now, getting weird. Weird. Now, Let's that, get off Drew. Like, it's getting weird. I'm telling you. This is what you do when you find out someone's got cancer and they haven't been told yet. Yeah, hey, uh, Drew, you're number one. Yeah, hey, really. hey, pick a call. You got a call you want? Hey, whatever. Oh, yeah, we got to hear that. You guys would love that. Let's hear some news. Drew made a uh, crank anchor right. call. What? Yes. It's so no, unlike you. Yeah, but anchor? this is very unlike me. You got no class here. Very unlike me. No, I, we I, all have I, our wild We have side. to get the preamble. That I have to leave the room when you do this. Drew gets I can't, embarrassed. I can't stand this. He gets right. embarrassed. These were instructions from Mr. Kroll and his writer. I, Drew, Embrace no, it. Drew it. wanted to do a, yes, a call on our crank anchor yes, show, and so I came up with this idea about... Uh, <laughs> of course uh, I'm leaving the room. You guys go What's crank anchor? I'm like... It is a, oh, it is a, it's a puppet show. It's a show on Comedy Central. I really don't watch a lot of TV. That's all right. It's This is Drew. Really good. It's this is show. him Unless calling one right. of our. Uh, what I did. So what? What I did is he really left. We got. I know. <laughs> He's gone. He's out of the studio. Out He's out driving here. home. We're not going to hear the call. I just want to get the Drew Drew out of the room. Okay, All right, let's let's turn it up, man. Now this is us calling one of our listeners whose number we got the night before, <laughs> t telling them that we're trying to get the show back on MTV. If Drew could just hip it up a little, so, Anderson. Peace out. Hey, fresh name. <laughs> he said, I, I, I don't know what to say, man. I, I, oh man. Did you really do that? We were holding up 
He's using hard R's too on some of those he words. Had, uh, no, easy. He wasn't. Yeah, out of the no, he wasn't. House. I use those. <laughs> we were holding up uh, Marks a Lot boards all around. <laughs> Where did you learn reading. all that? You know man. what? Thank you. Where did you learn Thank all that? Thank you for that. I mean, really, that was, that was extremely enjoyable and fun. <laughs> That's my main main mayonnaise. That was our uh, crack stand. Doctor Drew, man, well done. Yeah, strong, right? Strong. He just fears. Actually, I can see you getting into it. It's like your sort of inner you. Now, but he has some real, like the areola palooza. I'm <laughs> using that. <laughs> yeah, that's a Thank good one. Thank you very it? much. I like the throb and guzzle too. I like that. What was the crap in the ass thing? The Mafio tang. There was like crap back in the. It's it was all downhill oh. after areola palooza, dude. I'm hard. I think he was freestyling a little with the crap in the <laughs> ass <laughs> part. <laughs> You yes. watch? Do you watch uh, Rap City? No. You learned Big a lot of stuff. Big in the house. <laughs> Dr. Drew, I love you. Jenna? <laughs> What's up? Ariola <laughs> Palooza. I What's was up? hoping to get a little advice. All right. Uh -oh. I have been in the same relationship for eight years, and mm. we've actually been married for two years. And What are you so angry problem, about? Problem. What's Part making you so angry? Me? No, no, Jenna. <laughs> no, no I'm Mark's, making, her angry. Mark's <laughs> making her angry. <laughs> See? I basically, for the last year, year and a half or so, her teeth. You talk I've had her. very little interest in him. Yeah. Um, it kind of it started out sexually, but I was completely bored. Are you angry at him? Um. Yes. Okay. Sometimes I am. Why? Now. I mean, it, why are you angry? Why? Yeah. Um. I don't know, I guess because I've put up with so much. and What have you put up with? He's had problems. I mean... J Jenna, you, uh, you understand, we no, don't listen, know I, you. I don't give a rat's ass. <laughs> Whatever. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, why, why, why are you angry? Why? Because you guys, love you. she's hurting. Because he does stuff. What kind of stuff? Things stuff. Things I've had to put up with. Yeah, listen, I, this show's only two goddamn hours. Where was she? Four. All right, now I'm angry. But you guys got harsh. Well, no, yeah, it's not the same to, like this, it used to be, man. No, Adam, the Adam, Adam starts to become abusive to people that have a long history of abuse. That's right. It evokes abuse from him. What I like to so do is contribute. So we can always tell diagnostic of what's going on by Adam's behavior. I like, I'm, the, I'm the last kid on the dog pile on yeah. the schoolyard. You know, I'm the kid against the running. Yeah, the, the last bully. Right when the guy on the bottom is starting yeah. to... Yeah. The ball. guy's giving that I'm serious call. You know, the guy, I'm serious! Right? Like, I'm the last guy to hit right during that. And it takes a while for the I'm serious to make it up through the pile. Right. I can't breathe, dude. I'm serious! <laughs> he's serious. He's serious. I think he's serious. But it hasn't made it to the top yet, and that's when I get my last dive. I love it. I know 10 of those guys. No kidding. I'm serious. Jenna? Yeah. Okay. All right, baby doll. So you're angry, and you're angry at him, and why specifically? I guess what, what is it that you put up with? Yeah, what, what happened? What did you put up with? Just terrible behavior, you know, and like childish behavior. I think, you know. All right. What, watching football all day wait, wait, or wait, wait. scamming he, on your best friend? No, he hung up on her. No, I put oh, her he back did? on hold because I, I have to, I have, I'm going to come back, and she has to give us a specific thing. Right. A, a, an example. Not, not he's a. Uh, uh, inconsiderate or he's childish. I need a good one. Me too. Right, get I, her. Let's do it. Let's get her. I need a uh, dropped a pearl in my margarita. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pearl margarita. Jenna. Permita. That's yeah. going to be a next hit right there, gentlemen. Hey, man. I'm writing now. Pearl Jenna. Margarita. Yeah. All right. Specific example. And go. All right. I'll give up on that. I think that the most part, I'm mad at myself, I guess, for settling for him. Ooh. She right. didn't well, but the point is, all right, look, yeah. so you, you, have, look, look you have a right long here. history of chaos in your relationships, right? Yeah. Long history, way back. Yeah. Were you beaten or abused or anything growing up? Um, not growing up. Um, like past relationships, yeah, but okay, I know something. now not to where's, tolerate where's that. Where's your dad? Do you, you hate your dad? You must. Um, don't hate him, but don't really like him. All right, all right. that's fair enough. Maybe she got married too early. No, no, she's got a long history she's, of neglect. She's angry. And, you know, they're getting they're digging you it. They're you digging don't it. have any kids, do you? Yeah, she's I do. Like, that's uh, what makes no, this hard. Really? You're going to ruin them with all that anger. Yeah. That's I know. Sad. See, that's, I, I want to leave him. And yeah. I you know what? decided The anger's to... going with you, though. You have to leave your husband. It may not be so stirred without him the, there. The but... first bag you pack is your anger bag. Right, Drew? <laughs> Hi oh, high five. I like when Drew does that. <laughs> <laughs> or doesn't do it. <laughs> 
That's my new thing now. I'm into it. I'm in. Four, <laughs> five, five. Watch, I got it. True, you're you're jug man, right? Like the big cans. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You broke your cherry. So That's nice. It. Shanna? <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, how about a uh, little therapy for you because uh, you're so angry and uh, yeah, all that you, stuff? If you were to leave him now, you just find another abusive a-hole to ho- hook up with. Well, see, what I, what I want right now is to just to be alone and kind of try and find myself. And yeah, so I know, what, but you, if, you, you won't pansy. find him by yourself. You need some treatment for it. You need to take through. a big swim in Lake you. Yeah. That's right. Oh. That's, that's right. That's kind of what I feel. Like. Leave, get swam in. Leave your, ang- <laughs> leave your angry duffel bag on the shores of Lake You. You need to and choose swim. to be less angry. Oh, please. That's right. All right, look. You need to get some help with this. If you leave him, that's fine, whatever, but you're not, you're not going to change things and you're going to choose Yay. another guy that has a similar kind of background, or you're going to go for boy toys and have non-relationships. Yes. Whatever it is, is going to end up with the same basic emotional context. And yeah. uh, you need some help with this. And if you're going to raise your son to be emotionally healthy, you're going to need to be more emotionally healthy. Oh, it's a yeah. son? Yeah, how do you know it's a son? It says on the screen. Oh, here. oh I'm kidding. kidding. I got the whole break computer down thing. All right, I'll be over here. Because the girls, see, the girl, girls are great. They become strippers and porn. They keep, yeah. they keep it They keep, keep, the, it, uh, keep it real. Girls keep turn it 18 every Yeah, day. but the sons get angry and start beating people up. Yeah, right? they do. That's right. Because your right. mom's a stripper. That's All right, Jenna. Yeah. All right. All right. Good times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sweaty balls. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I'm going to go take a uh, leak in uh, Lake U. You guys want to come? <laughs> no. no. I'm going uh, wow. to take a leak in Lake Me. You uh, don't want to do that either. I'll go number two in, uh, <laughs> number in Lake, two. Lake Drew. I'll do a combo uh, in Lake uh, U. <laughs> we'll be back with Sugar Ray after <laughs> yeah. this. Hey, buddy. Love line, I'm Adam. That's. Dr. Drew, phone number, 1-800-LVE-191. Next week, uh, Tony Hawk's in here, Taproot's in here, Kelly Slater, Robert England, uh, Freddie. No, he's not Freddie. Yeah, he is Freddie. He is. What kind of name? You know, Freddie's taking on Jason. What's Uh, that about, Why doesn't uh, Seth just take on Brad? (laughs) (laughs) You know, what kind of pussy names are those? (laughs) What happened to, like, Spike and Duke and stuff? (laughs) Like, if you knew Freddie and taking... Jason were waiting for you now, you'd be like, oh, kick those pussies' asses on my way to the car. Yeah. yeah. Those guys don't die, though, man. <laughs> I guess it's like Smuckers, though. Like, with a name like Jason, you you got to be badass, yeah, right? Yeah, really. <laughs> Poor name, Sue. What about Freddie? I mean, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> I know. Come on, Mickey. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, where are we going with this? Yeah, where are we going? Sugar Ray is uh, here tonight. The uh, new CD is called In the Pursuit of uh, Leisure. Indeed. We've got Craig and Mark here from the band. And we got to get back to the phones and speak to Kathy. Kathy? Kathy. Kathy. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> pissed. Yeah. What did I say? No, I'm not pissed, Kathy. I promise. <laughs> All right. What's up? Um, I'm 25. And I've worked at a social club, which is a swingers place. All right. <laughs> you, just, you just put on 40 pounds in my mind. So. Yeah, I've been drinking. Now, uh, what do you do there? Um, I, I managed the place and ran the bar. And uh, I worked there for about three and a half or four years. And I met my husband there, and I got married and everything. But it seems the longer that I work there, the less interested in sex that I am. So how how did you guys meet? You looked across the room. You, you saw the back of his balls. You said, uh, "Who's that mysterious stranger?" That's exactly how it happened. No. Oh, that's nice, Kathy. That's nice. Great. You can define a man by his balls. Well, no, no, a lot no. of women look at the front, but they don't often get a chance to see the back first, of the sack. First, first thing. No. They don't yeah. see. They don't Especially see. Compared it doesn't get others any worse than time. that. They don't right. see the yeah. leather. You know what I mean? That's right. No, that's right. I, I envision like swingers clubs. Every guy looks like the East German soccer team in '77. Or Randy yeah. West. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like Randy West. <laughs> <laughs> old ass surfer with a wooden surfboard. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that works in a, bu- bu- a million ways, doesn't it? I just can't argue with it because it's the truth. But uh. it is because I was getting horny. Now I'm bummed. So now you you met your husband there. Well, he was the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> was he playing Foghat? <laughs> no, no, we actually played pretty good music because April know, Wine, like Frank Mahogany. <laughs> All right, so he was uh, he's DJing over oh, there, cutting it up, right? And is it, is it sort of strip club DJ or is he, what what do you got to do over there? <laughs> yeah, is no, he naked? He, he plays music for people to uh, uh, help to. Side. He must play it's like one side of Led Zeppelin Four and get in the mix, you know. <laughs> it's free for all. 
Wait, hey, we played a lot of Sugar Ray. Hey, <laughs> yeah. That'll end the party. Quickly. Hey, listen, uh, ASCAP should be, uh, you should get a taste of that. Who's ASCAP? <laughs> you should get a piece of that. I'll I mean, they play, that, yeah. they play Sugar Ray on the radio. You get a little something. They, play, like they play it at a sporting event. You go to that you club, you're going to get a piece regardless. But these yeah. songs were made for swingers, so, I mean, right. I appreciate it. So, so. You were uh, your your tendon bar. He's right. he's uh, tendon balls. He's uh, right. playing, and now is he getting involved in the mix over there? Pardon the pun. Um, when we first started our relationship, he was really like wanting me to do that stuff, and I gave in a little bit. We tried a few things, but as time wore on, it's just there's nothing interesting to me at all about sex. Does that mean it's you more... couldn't recover from seeing him him like bang another chick or something? Is that what that means? <laughs> Because, you know what, I, I, that's happened to me before. You're like, is that cool? Is it cool? You get a little drunk. The next day you wake up, you're like, oh, God, what happened? Right. Actually, oh, yeah, people, it's oh, yeah. the You know what I mean, Dr. Drew? Absolutely. It doesn't matter at all. I don't know. I, I think you're hurt by it. You know, you're hurt by love. You're hurt by love. <laughs> yeah, well, are you, I am. You are. We all are. Are you, do you dissociate in other ways? Do you have a history of sort of, you know, about um, dissociating? I, I, I don't really know, to tell you the truth, because I, I don't really have any either. feelings about are you a, it. Are you a trauma survivor? Um, I don't, I don't think so. All right. Because <laughs> to be able to sort of disconnect from your sexual feelings is what I'm talking about. All right. Well, listen. Or maybe you're just desensitized by all you, of this. You want to, you want to get out of there? You want to get out of the marriage? You want to get out of the club? What do you want to do? No, I mean, I'm happy in my marriage except that there's no sex. No, there's no swingers and there's no Maybe sex. she just wants to see a movie. She's no. 25. That's not normal at 25. She sounds like she's in her 40s. <laughs> yeah, she too. sounds like Janice Joplin. But and bartending at string, uh, swingers club is like being a nurse in NAM. you know? It's like you, those two years really <laughs> age you. You, you know, know what you see if you're a DJ? A lot, a lot of seven-year-olds. It's worse than like yeah. being a, a bartender. Uh, towel boy no, to the, wine. No, but the DJ, what does that guy see? <laughs> Yeah. Well, we don't, he we don't serve view. alcohol, so it's, I mean, the people aren't drunk. They're just naked and jerking off. And, that makes it yeah. even weirder to me. I mean, to exactly. Right. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. I, let's have a swing and no boo booze. Great. At some <laughs> point, really, that, that, that's that got to deplete your spiritual self, <laughs> and if, your, if nothing else. I mean, forget the psychological terms and the trauma history and the interpersonal issues. At a certain point, your spirit is sort of broken by this, don't you think? But not, not everybody's striving for that spirituality. No, though. but I mean, you're, you're depleted. You're empty. You, you are the person that sits she around and watches no people jacking you know, off. You become all the person you hate. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I think I, look personally at me. that it's worse than being a stripper. Because, <laughs> What's I mean, that, Kathy? What? Have, it's wor in my opinion, it's worse than being a stripper. You have to be perfect every night. At least you get paid stripping, right? Yeah, I, I, I know. I mean, there's there. Okay, so why don't you get out of that environment? Yeah, you may just see be, what you may be starting. You, there, you may have some issues with men that this is just reinforcing, and you're starting to hate men on some level and disconnect from those feelings. And you may be, like I said, just sort of being depleted by this experience. I mean, you're, you, can you see how that be sort of depleting? You, you become yeah, the I mean, person. That if sits, every guy looks like Randy West. I mean, I mean if, yeah. if you worked in a concentration camp. Yeah, you know right, what Randy Pete West you. looks like? <laughs> Who's Randy West? He, he would like, be laughing like, like your was, woodshop teacher that surfed in high school. He's like that guy. Well, he's 45. He's like that guy who's really dumb in junior high, but you were scared of him because you thought he could kick your ass, yeah. but you still wanted to make fun of him, yeah. but you weren't yeah. sure if he was going to snap and beat and on him. he's got a shag mullet. He has like a frolic. Yeah. yeah, it's like a two, like it, the, the worst of both hair combos, uh -huh. like a fro, shag slash mullet dot org uh -huh. dot com. I guess she when has the, a shaglet, <laughs> a horrible. A I guess when the back of a ball becomes passe, <laughs> let's move on. Try horse racing. Yeah, and here's the other thing too. I'll, nothing more than bar, <laughs> more depressing than being a bartender at a place that doesn't serve booze. Yeah. Do you want me to freshen up that yeah, orange gang of whip old for dudes. you? Do you want a Pepsi twist or what? <laughs> It's yeah, old right. fest. And then the tipping always sucks when you're serving. So you're a soda jerk. But she's probably showing a boob, so I'll pay double for a yeah, coke. Yeah, but she, she's also used as a sexual object to sort of... At a swingers club? Well, no, she said she has to look perfect. <laughs> it's like being a stripper, she said. Yeah, she's, guys she's are jerking sort of, off. you got to look good. Right, she's like one of the sort of... She's the... Uh, sort of the... Plus, too, if, you know, if everyone... You know, everyone the, uh, comes at once and yeah. it gets into the that's ventilation a, a system and before you know it, it's, it's like, like the fire pearl, sprinklers went off. That's, that's right. very pearly. That's right. Someone uh, put an M80 in a big thing of joy. Face. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Pearls. Like someone took one of those smart and final Irish uh, size of ivory and just put ivory and put an M80 <laughs> in it and just blew it up in the middle of the room. One of those cost plus mayonnaise jars that's and just right. made it. M200, <laughs> put it right in the center of the room, turn the ceiling fan on high and just blew it off. That's what every day is like. I'm bro. getting horny over here. Yeah. All right. You see what you've been depleted? <laughs> let's, uh, My pearl's freaking out. All right, let's take a little break. Sugar Ray uh, in studio tonight. We'll be right back. Back after this. <laughs> hey, 
everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Mark and Craig both here from Sugar Ray. Woo! In the Pursuit of Leisure is the uh, name of the new CD, and we're going to hear something else off of that CD in this uh, this segment here. I like the uh, uh, Justin Timberwolf on the bumper there. Dustin oh. Timberwolf, man. Dustin. Whatever. Right. Oh, that's the bumper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what they call in the biz. <laughs> you know, here's, what, here's how much I know about radio. When Mark said bumper, I was thinking of a car, and I wasn't <laughs> sure what he was talking about. Like, is there some stickers? Uh, Dustin sticker. Timberwolf <laughs> They're, they're called music, too. Yeah, music, music beds, too. Music beds? Now say I think of a bed. Yeah. And then picture I show you a bed. Yeah. bed with a note. I wonder who's on the phone. He might start napping. <laughs> he might start masturbating. But... Hey, hey, Anderson. Remember uh, last night you are playing uh, David Allen Greer? And uh, you're doing it. That he was. Did, David was on the show and did a little simulation of his lovemaking. He is so funny. Well, he, 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 like, he, he likes a little rough trade, but then <laughs> he gets Listen tired it. from it. Listen but wait, it. hold on. No, no, I gotta Drew, find it again. I, I know, I know. Anderson, I'll yell at Drew. Drew, you gotta go get this stuff. No, I know. Just I go know. listen to this. Listen to yeah. this. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to you. About five minutes. I'm telling, to, I'm telling Mark just listen to what he's saying. Listen, yeah, listen to this. Listen okay. to what I'm saying. Hey, I got something for Drew to listen to though. It's gonna blow his mind. Oh, really? That's a bad so I really want to hear it on but the hey, air? But hey, Anderson, yes. yeah, yes. here, here's the only reason I want to hear this again uh, tonight is because I want to hear it. Because the last time the volume was hear too it. low, yeah, we, we couldn't, couldn't hear it. it. And I'll, I want to enjoy you myself on this show. I'll make Thanks. it happen. It'll be great. All right, can you blow Drew's mind? Do you have whatever yeah, okay. it is? It's going to blow, especially Drew's, but everybody's watched. Ready? Right. Old Dutch bus. Yeah. yeah. I need the words to this. <laughs> there are no words. I need the words. Right here. <laughs> What's his name, Frankie Smith? Yeah, I don't know who this is. Some of this is sounding remarkably like Bill Cosby singing to his own stuff. Get some braggers and some bros 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 and some Oh, I want this. Right I, want this I want you to continue right here. This. this your song. Missy Elliott used this. It's <laughs> true <laughs> song. This is it. Chris got to get his lyric sheet out. He's getting like a dictionary trying to define it. Oh my god. What wow. was this? What is going on? This is hey, a lyrical sheet for what we use. Music, use, I, Susan, use, I, choose, I, choose, I, choose, Yeah! Dr. Drew is very careful, yeah, man. man. Good job. Yeah, he's drinking a drink. <laughs> what is this? It's called Double Dutch Bus. It's yeah. Frankie it? Smith. Yeah, Frankie no, Smith. It's Frankie, Frankie Smith, and Smith. I was right when I said Frankie Smith. And there's a radical, be like, 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 E Hollywood mystery about that song because he got ripped off, and the guy that financed him. Murdered someone, blah blah blah, allegedly. But it's a really interesting story. What is that song from? It's, it's like from the eighties, like eighty one, yeah. eighty, eighty one or eighty two. So Missy Elliott just took a uh, just took a piece of that, or she actually she she actually sampled some of it. Sampled it, yeah. Pig Latin wow. in the house, but you know, and he used to come on. He, he was Charlie Wilson before Charlie Wilson. Cowboy well, hats, did, and we know what the words wow. mean. Yeah, if if, 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 if it's, it's pig Latin, it's pig Latin. Latin. If it's, it's pig Latin, then that means it's like it he could have said a bunch Drew. of things. Yeah, let me it's see not what that pig Latin. Yeah, it is. Big Latin okay. stuff, everything stops, ends in A-Y. Oh, not this, you're talking about, you, can't, you can't break it down and give it barriers, man. It's different, yeah. you know, it's like... It's Ebonics. Yeah, it's Nick ebonically Latin. correct. Let me touch right. Nick Latin. <laughs> there you go. Way to go, man. There I, you go. We're all offended. I, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Slept, come on, bring kick his okay. ass. Yeah. I was just kidding. Nation just Islam. Kidding. Unacceptable. That's its own There's thing. different, there's the very, very different terms. But Frankie Smith. Right. I, can, I can speak on it. Frankie uh, Smith, man, he deserves... I want somebody to translate that for me. I will right True, now. it doesn't mean anything. Well, these guys seem well, to well, know well, that it, it does it, it mean something. It could be wrong. The interpretation could be wrong. It can't be your, right. Your, your guys' interpretation could be wrong, right? Well, the spelling no, on I this just, is the wrong. The spelling is killing that. me right now. It's but. phonetic. That it's came phonetic. off the, some oh. website. Z oh really? Missy Elliott. That's just you ridiculous. Remember, you remember that? You know, That's ridiculous. You know something. Yeah. We can't. We can't even bring. You cannot translate in the radio. Okay. Why? Off because it's dirty. It's dirty. Oh. Why? Why do you pick Latin on the radio if it's not dirty? Come on, Drew. You can pick uh, Latin. You're a doctor, wanna, Drew. I may be urban, but I'm a, I'm ner a nerd. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's I a grew. word salad, man. I'm I grow I grow weary of you now, Drew. Right. Let's let's move Fair forward. Enough. Fair enough. All right. Your dialogue has made me tired. <laughs> I got your Rachel? bag. Rachel? 
Yeah. Oh, well, he's oh. got the dag. Back. We got dag now. I got to hear. We got to hear this. And and turn us up a little bit, Anderson, because uh, I want to enjoy it uh, tonight. So this is uh, David uh, Alan Greer from a couple nights ago on the show explaining his lovemaking technique. Don't look at me. Don't look. Don't look at me. I will give you something to smile about. Every guy. That's every guy. That's every guy. That's what it's like. <laughs> and he's on top of her, too. She can't move. <laughs> All right, then. All right. Is there anybody funnier than David Allen Greer? No. Seriously, no, in, in, a, in a day-to-day situation, no setup, nothing. No, not just, just, he just scats. He's a funny wow! guy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, he is. He's no, never funnier than on this show, though. No, he's, he's just great. He's, he's funny just funny. Show. You know, you meet some comedians, like world-class comedians, and not really funny in a day-to-day situation. Not he's like funny. that. David Spade's funny. <clears throat> Adam Carolla's <clears throat> funny. Dr. Drew's funny. Well, the <laughs> only way I lift is my own, my big fat ass every day when I wake up. <laughs> In sitting clown uh, posse, funny. <laughs> <Damn. that happened? laughs> oh my God! Hey, play that again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Drew, you know what my sincere dream, my hope is, is that we can get get enough solid drops that just we don't have to show up. up. Yeah, it'd be great. Exactly. Yeah, it every, can happen. every show just be, I just become like uh, Dick Clark stepping out. <laughs> Remember this one, and then I go back and blow a butt and have a drink and come back ten minutes later, and and who could forget? Sounds like our job. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, let's talk to uh, Rachel, who's 23. Rachel? Yes. What's up? Okay. Um, this is going to sound really lame, and I hate when I listen to your show and people ask the stupidest questions, so I'm going to try really hard to make it make sense. Okay. All right, we appreciate that. <laughs> Get to the point. Um, I just started back into the adult industry basically a month ago, and one of the more recent things that I did I know you guys talked to Ginger a while ago. It was something, it was having to do with her new movie. And so that's going to be pretty big time. And I've kind of been in and out of the industry off and on since I was 19. But never really full-fledged doing something that's going to be so out there with yeah. so much publicity. Mm-hmm. And uh, like a month and a half ago, I met this guy and through a friend and whatnot, and he's really sweet and nice, and he knows about the porn, and we haven't watched any of my movies yet, because I don't know which one I want him to see yet, but um, we've only slept together once in the entire time that we've been hanging out, because he doesn't want to have it be just another, I can't use that one word, but he doesn't want it to just be that, and... I've never had a sexual relationship that wasn't basically just that, that in itself. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm. And mm. he wants to make love, I'm assuming, and I'm a little... No, we don't trust this guy. Well, why do you sleep with you the one time? Well, because I think part of the thing is he's only slept with his two other girlfriends. Yeah. Like, that, he's only had sex in relationships, and we're not what hap- boyfriend what happened to those and girlfriends. Re- what happened to those just- relationships? Well, um, I guess he just got sick of the girls. And the more recent girlfriend that he broke up with is because he wants to start focusing more on his music and Dating stuff. porn. Oh, what okay. does he do for a living? <laughs> he, <laughs> right now, he's a telemarketer. <laughs> right now. <laughs> right now. Yeah. I, well, I she mean, has I to, can't has to spin do the He's a musician. That's yeah, right. right now. Of course he's out of a gig. Hey, uh, <laughs> Rachel. And you know, you know, it's weird. It's like that. The, the sort of pecking order is: out of work musician can have porn stars, and then working musician moves up to actual celebrities. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. But Thank just God for that. just being in a band will get you a porn star. You don't have that's to be making a living. I, I mean, honest. Like I've never had anyone that's as understanding as he is. Most of the guys well, that I okay. I've never had a. But like, listen, you 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 haven't you haven't gotten into it. You're not having a real relationship yet. You guys are just sort of dancing around uh, the uh, relationship Maypole, which is right off uh, U Lake. <laughs> did you Did you hear? Uh, so right. Yeah, you can't miss it. Did You're you hear U Lake. Tra- You're right. Yeah. Did you hear Tracy Lords in here the other night talking about hey, her I issues? Hey, I don't want to hear about. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jealous. Go uh, ahead. Go okay, ahead. but listen. Why wouldn't you want to good. hear about her? My she might be. You know, she might have some insight for you. What? So, Rachel, you don't want to hear about that? No, no, tell me. 
the I was free saying that, thing? Yeah. No, no. I, I, I mean, I don't do drugs when I do my movies. I'm always sober, and so anyone that's going to disrespect the agent that I've worked for or try to ruin... I mean, I know it's not the best of jobs. Because that's what Dr. Drew was trying to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. that was my Let plan. Let me ask you a personal question, and don't take this the wrong way, but you don't do drugs. How do they dilate your rectum? I don't do anal yet. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Do you do drugs to do that? I don't know. I'm just screwing around. Wow. So yeah, serious. Coming I soon. The theater's near like you. They do double anal now and stuff. Like, they do uh, double uh, anal? Double anal. Wow. I don't. It's, it's a two for one. You kids are crazy. I remember my grandfather predicting <laughs> in 1967 that they would never do double penetration, and they proved him wrong. He was wrong. In the, uh, in the early 80s. And then... He, of course, he's passed now. Double anal is heart, but, but then he then he went on to say uh, that the double anal was impossible. <laughs> and uh, who knows what's next, Drew? Triple, triple anal, farm animals. I think I think uh, they could, farm I, animals I, is I old. say double anal with double penetration. Uh, you know what I mean, with a Prince video on. What position is that? I, I, <laughs> Third base. I don't know, but when your when your dork is being used as sort of a doorstop between <laughs> another dork and a set of balls, does that make you gay at a certain prison? point? Like, yeah. how do you enjoy that, man? Yeah, like you may be humping a chick, but you're only touching dude parts. No, no, no. You're yeah. humping, you're humping three a, dudes and a chick. That's you're, the, you're humping a chick that's been lined with dude. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's an erasure meet and greet. And point. there's a gang <laughs> right. of friction. Like, All right. So All right. What, what are we doing, Rachel? <laughs> we don't know. Drew, get us back. Rachel. Love. Take us back. Yeah. Okay, Rachel, why don't you just get out of the business? Sounds like you got questions about it. I Doesn't mean, seem like know, it's I, good for the you. The thing is, is when I'm not in the business, I feel like a big slut because I'm very... I feel like a dude almost all the time because I always dude. want so, sex and I don't so want. So did you have lots of? Thinking whore. Where, where did you? Yeah, um, what can I say? All right, all right is, there, is there bipolar illness in your family? Manic depression? Um, I, 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 I think my mom is definitely out there. Okay. And so, right. and so I, it's I manic depression. So this could you guys be part. Would have of, a heyday with my past, and so uh, you were sexually and you were sexually abused at some point, right? Yeah. <laughs> how, how old were you when that happened? Um, two and then 17. Okay. Can you, it, it's no accident that we knew that. 15 year run there though. Yeah, really. it, it's no accident. She we was knew. Due. She, she, was got, due. she got cocky. That's what happened. <laughs> so to speak. Gang we, we, we know that history was there because of the choices you're making now. And if the choices you're making now somehow were good for those sorts of traumas, we, we wouldn't be encouraging you to make other choices. The fact is at though. At the same time, doctor, like I, don't understand like ma the male i don't want to right. tell you guys a species and the cheetahs will go and tear apart uh small children too uh that that's what cheetahs do but it doesn't mean that you, you know what i mean it, it's not there's a reason you do what you do given your biological makeup Hold on, and it's let, because let me, of trauma let me, let me handle the news. go ahead She's please do I, please no, i don't one. have one prepared, oh, but give one. i'm just saying tell me when What's you have one i need a need a point that, that this, end up with cheetahs that this is this is Comparing a nature of one biological entity versus another has nothing to do with her. Yeah, look. the fact is she was traumatized. She's acting out, and that's that. That's why. All right. So therapy. Uh, quit the porn. And I don't trust this guy necessarily. Really, you should look into organizations that are used to treating people with sexual compulsions, like you have. There's uh, in in uh, the uh, up here in Los Angeles area. There's the Delamo Treatment Center in the South Bay that specializes in this. We got a good mall up there too. We gotta go there, man. Hey, Rachel, you know what the, uh, a porn star does to her ass before she goes to work? What? She drops them off at band practice. I gotta make it light. Gotta make it light. All right. I love and those she's, drum rolls. Sorry, Mom. She's trying to figure out what movie to watch with this guy. You're not really gonna watch one of your movies with this guy, are you? I, Seymour Buzz you know, has some like cool if ones. If I would do anything, I probably would watch one of my girl movies just because That's I don't. Right. Smooth. So would I. I don't, Smooth. My main thing is I kind of gave up on trying to do the happy marriage thing because I've seen so much of that nonsense. Uh, and I don't want to work. Yeah, it's bad idea. Either, so right. Give so us I your, your ask, number. We'll call you and come make everything okay. Smart, though, to have. Smart to go with the girl movie. because Whatever, whatever work, she yeah. shows him, he's going to freak out. And just imagine Rachel at 48. What, watching just, that? It, no, just imagine where she's headed. Well, she'd be burnt I mean, out. She, she doesn't believe she's ever going to be different be than 23 up. or 25. That's the thing. They, they, she doesn't, doesn't yeah. see the road ahead. Tell that to every guy in the NBA. Forever. Come on. You, could, Wait till yeah, she has a kid. Wait till she has a kid. The kid sees the movies. Oh. Janae? All right, Greg. 
Hi. Kids. Actually, I had a question. I was wondering, actually, I'm 23, and I've been in a relationship for uh, two years. And every time we're having us in a sexual position, like the doggy style, I guess you can say, um, I always have this weird noise. It sounds like a farting noise, and it's sort of uncomfortable. <laughs> it's Queef Latifah, man. <laughs> Queef Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, but, I like Mark. Um, he can't contain uh, himself. Farts, <laughs> simple rule. Farts yeah, equal exactly. funny. That's how it sounds. And I'm wondering why I do that or why that happens. Isn't it air getting in there, Dr. Yeah, Drew? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it's just, just funny and You got to tighten up those muscles, girl. No, no. It's just the position you're in that lets the air get what, it. Can she do any other Kegel exercises no, 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 she no, can no, do no, to no, make no, that crack? No, 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 no. That's just the thing I can do. I have a question, Dr. Drew. Change position. <laughs> Does it matter the size of the guy? Yeah, huh? about that? Does a guy make does I don't one guy so. make more air get in than another guy? Sure. No. What about but also that. what about anatomy in the in the sense that like the more piston the phallus, the more you're gonna get with that. You know what I mean? Like the, the smaller more air moves. Yeah, like like if you got the if you got the big mushroom head and you got like the skinny <laughs> shaft holding up the mushroom, you know, some guys look like a beach umbrella. Yeah, <laughs> right. like, oh my and, and God. you do that, you're really gonna you're gonna move think, a lot yeah. of air. You would but, think. Yeah. But doggy style, you're very vulnerable. That's I mean, true. there's a lot of stuff flying in there at that point. And it's yeah. it's in a position where it's if it's you just get in that position, people hear a fart. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or you, you just want becoming a, a human <laughs> exhaust pipe. And yeah. you know what? Maybe there is a fart. It might be a legit fart and then a uh, and then a down low fart. Yeah. Well, yeah. Know, it doesn't make me uncomfortable because it's like maybe I'm I would imagine. To, like, have an orgasm and then that happens is like it completely ruins. Yeah, the farts do not equal orgasm. But, but that guy might think he's like winning too. He might think he's tearing some stuff yeah, up. Yeah, guys do not care. Guys no, are like, yeah. no, but you're trying to keep you're trying to keep your game face. Yeah, they up. might crack up. As long as they knock good. my beer off, you know. I don't care. <laughs> if you're a guy, you know it's cracking when you so hear that. What, what would it be like an exercise that I could do in order no, to not I don't do you that. could try the game Time exercise. Master? I don't think anything Power missionary? Now you 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 gotta crank up you gotta crank up the stairs. Yeah. That's about it. That's, <laughs> that's the only. It's only defense for yeah. this kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. All right, the best noise it. ever. Yeah. Change it. positions. All right. All right. You hear Craig likes it. Yeah, no, <laughs> Craig, it really is yeah, into it. Yeah, to him, it. It's, don't it's, like it's, 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 it's the sound of progress, right? <laughs> It means you're bearing the hatchet. It's pride. Yeah. You know, you're getting laid when you're hearing him. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah. <laughs> what is there, Braveheart in this thing? Come on. Yeah. All right, let's uh, hear a little something from Sugar Ray. Oh. How about that? Yeah. We'll, let's uh, do it. We'll uh, get our bearings. This is uh, off the new CD in the uh, pursuit of uh, leisure, and uh, this one is called Blues from a Gun. Well, there's another good one from Sugar Ray. Woo! We're uh, in studio with Craig and Mark. <laughs> Uh, in the Pursuit of Leisure is the name of the CD, and if uh, you want to know anything about that or uh, anything else about uh, Sugar Ray, you can just go to uh, www.sugarray, one word, dot com, and uh, do that. We love uh, Sugar Ray. We Thanks, love, man. We love being here. Well, we love having you here, and uh, we're going to take a uh, quick break, and uh, we'll be right back after, after this. these messages. Everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Next week, uh, Robert England's going to be in here. Freddie of, uh, well, you know the movies. Uh, Kelly Slater, Surfer's going to be in here. Taproot's going to be in here. Tony uh, Hawk's going to be in here. And Joe Rogan's going to be in here. So, uh, full plate tonight. Sugar Ray, Mark and Craig both here. Yeah. Always good to see these guys. It's been uh, too long. It's been like three years or something. Yeah. I was looking at the thing. Wow. Good to be back, man. Well, you come back anytime you like. You got it. Uh, new CD, In the Pursuit of Leisure, and uh, Drew. Mm-hmm. You ready to go, everybody? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. right. Brevity's the soul of wit, Drew. <laughs> mm-hmm. Drew does more grunting and pointing than anyone on the radio. Like taters. It's knowledge. It's <laughs> knowledge. Mm-hmm. Like them taters. <laughs> Amy? Yeah? You're 20? Yeah. What's up? Um, last week, um, me and my boyfriend were actually listening to Loveline, and it came up about a girl being molested when she's young, and it came out that when I was younger, I was molested by my brother, mm-hmm. and now he's really pressuring me about going to the police about it or going to Your brother? Your boyfriend yeah. is? My boyfriend, yeah. Right. How long ago did this happen? How long ago when, did it happen to me? Yes. When I was like seven and eight. Mm. Has your boy, has your brother been in trouble since then? No, no one knows. No one knows. He's been he's perfectly a regular citizen, going to school. Yeah, just he has his family now. Oof. He's Yuck. he's older than me. Yeah. How much older is he? Seven years. 
years. Oh, seven years. Okay, so now this is extra super creepy. I mean, you know, eight-year-old brother diddling seven-year-old sisters couldn't creep you enough, but 14-year-old brother diddling seven-year-old sisters. That's wrong, right? That's uh, not in all cultures, <laughs> and we can't judge. We cannot judge. Yanomamo say it's okay. But here it is, yes, and uh, we will judge and say that is wrong. And now <laughs> it worries us a little bit because this guy's got a family. Well... Hmm. What do you do about that? What would you that? say I mean, about you, that? What well, happens to his family? What happens you, to anybody? You want, to, you want to try to help the kids that are his kids now, you know, decrease the risk that they're going to be exposed to this stuff. I just felt that... If the possibility of prosecuting this and whatnot is essentially zero. I mean, you can't... What can you prove? It's his versus, versus her now, hers now. But I do think you need to take some action. You, you might want to call the Department of Social Services in your area and just, and just tell them your story and ask for advice. You don't have to say who you are and where you're calling from yet, but they, they may have some specific recommendations for you. How, how many times did he do this to you? It went on for probably about two years. Oh, really? So yeah. he was like 16 at the yeah. time it stopped? he was in high school. And, and you were how old? How old? I was seven, eight. Started s seven, seven, eight, nine. How old are his kids now? His kids are young. Yeah. One, like one... One, not ripe two. yet. All, are there girls? <laughs> a couple more years. No, they're both boys. Well, one's not really his. It's his girlfriend. One's his girlfriend's? Uh oh. Uh, well, I was going to say that could be game on, but if he's going at his own sister, I, I think uh, nothing's out of bounds. What? Uh, I know this is going to sound uh, a little probing, but did, did he have sex with you? No, it, it started off just kind of like, you know, games sort of. Right. Like messing around. If you lose, you got to take your clothes off, and it kind of progressed over time to trying to have sex. But I, you know, as a little girl, it didn't really work. Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, the, the notion of a 16-year-old attempting to have intercourse uh, with his eight or nine-year-old sister is, you know, profoundly disturbed. Like, uh, yeah, what, is this, what, what does this guy do? Is he a publicist? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Jesus. Got to be a publicist, right? Let me, let me own that. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Is it, what's he do? Is he swing a hammer? Some form of construction? Yeah. Or he did. What, what's he do? Um, he does plumbing. Oh, does plumbing. Huh? He's in the trades. Ugh. All right. Yeah, so I think... Uh, let me ask you guys something. How yeah. do you... Literally. I mean, what... what you got to worry about the kids. I think you got to worry about his kids and... Well, that's what about yes. her parents? That's the reason I don't want to go for it because I don't think that he would do that to his own kids. And I feel like now it would cause so much problem with his family. And, and well, but there, there's, always the, the, you know, there's always secrets in families where there's situ problems like this, where there's pathology like this. And the secrets tend to be some of the most destructive impulses. So, look, call social services and ask for some directions. Well, what about... i got a couple more questions. What about this? I know it doesn't... Uh, sound like great advice but what if she sat him down and said look i know what you did you know what i did i'm not going to call the cops i'm not interested in any of that but i am worried about your kids right. you got about the next 20 minutes to convince me that you haven't been or aren't planning on doing that with your kids and if i'm satisfied i'm not going to call i'm not going to pick up the phone but don't you I'm, think he would just deny that yeah i don't like, he would I, never think, I think he's got he's got to say i think he'd kill her probably he's got to admit to being in some kind of treatment somebody, somebody else has brother, to be watching him what's that the whole situation with that i think it's kind of settled there is that mutual understanding that he knows that i know and i think right he's, all right but what what if you did what i just said do you know what i'm talking about i i agree i think he would probably just deny it even if he did think it but i don't think that he would no, no, I'm not saying he, he's already not denying the part that he did that with you, is he? No, it would never really come up. Yeah, how does she know? I mean, it's not like they talk about it. Hey, well, you said it was Happy a sort of a... Remember, it was remember a, a couple of years ago? <laughs> Big it, it was a... You said he, there was an understanding, though, right? Yeah. I, I mean, if you, if you two were alone in a room, would he know... Would he cop to it? I'm, I'm sure that he wouldn't be able to deny it. Okay. It's something no. that I vividly remember. I and what about your parents? Where was their involvement here? They don't know. It was more like when they would go and he would be babysitting me or something. All right. So oh. what do you feel? You, you think she should uh, alert the parents? What could that do, though? Are your parents that screwed up? Well, me and him have different fathers. Mm. And his no. father lives far away, a couple of states away. Oh, okay. All right.
And you know what's perfect, by the way? His kids have two different fathers now, too, and yeah. one of them's probably out of state, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's well, the beauty of life, by the yeah. way. And that's why I wonder why anyone ever questions us it's when we just talk about repetitive patterns. You know, cycle of life. Yes, you just do. And I'm sure somebody... Now, here's what we don't want. We don't want the cycle to continue on these kids. And I'm not so sure that it's not. But how do you blow the whistle, though? You know, I mean, you get, I agree. I mean, to have just, the balls to do that. I think you guys call she, social uh, services. Yeah, with the police, I don't think you're going to be able to do anything. Yeah, what, social the service, what are social services going to do? They're going to give her some advice. And it may, maybe it's some advice she won't take. I mean, that's well, what we're talking about. It's a matter here. of getting him to some sort of treatment. He's so. not going, Dr. Drew. I'll but, tell you. I mean, what do you want? I mean, this is the reality I know. If she knows that she'll blow the whistle, maybe. She won't, though. Yeah. Here, if he's the creepy dude, then I mean, you got to protect the kids. He is a creepy dude. So, no, I'm saying. So it's like she can't really it's, do anything. It's, it's such so, a hard try to protect the kids. All right, but here's here's the point. You make a phone call to somebody who knows what to do, right. and I think social services is probably the best place. Yeah. Although, I say she needs a uh, five hundred bucks in a, a Soldier of Fortune magazine. <laughs> if you go to the back page, it's true. You can take care of these things. Well, it's, no, yeah, no, no phone calls, Make no nothing. Make that call first. That's more anonymous. That's exactly. right. <laughs> right. Drew, right. You're, you're with me on just sort of uh, quiet snuffing, right? <laughs> Drifter blows into town. Yeah. All of a sudden, the brother's missing. They find him in the septic tank he was working on eight years <laughs> later. No one gets Society's hurt. better for the kids grow up. Ah, oh, they miss them she for ten minutes. She takes the kids. They have a better family. Right. Secrets buried in the past in the that, dirt. Oh, that's guys right. Guys thrown in the river. That's, that's why we do right. the show. You guys are whacked. Frank, you're a part of it. Yeah. Frank, you're 25. What's up? I'm 25. I've been married for about three years, almost three years, and um, my my wife, she's talking about getting a breast implant. Yeah. Right? So I told her, you know. You get breast implants. I get a penis enlargement. Oh my God. Right. So she, sure. So she, so she said. Because when you get into the TFing, you want to be able to keep up with the Joneses. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I mean, we were threatening you know, with plastic surgery. That's, that's they got that's the healthy. butt implants now. You get a J Lo butt for like two grand. You're trying you to muster that uh, pearl. Uh, necklace yeah. there, oh, and you don't need your dork dwarfed by <laughs> these new balloons. You know, there's nothing that looks exactly. worse. Frank, what is your question? Well, I want to know, like, what's the, like, the pro- Drew, you ever have your dork dwarfed? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's not a, Never it's not. not pleasant. <laughs> not a happy experience, huh? No, it does not feel good. <laughs> Only <laughs> get dwarfed. That's nothing for your self-esteem. Uh, that's right, Adam. That's why you always take that snow globe with a little village in it. And that's hold- right. That's what I do, and I do it, and I'm like, oh, the giant dork's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna crush the city. No, we just rebuilt. No, Keesh, Keesh, take that, take that, Whoville. Keesh. Yeah, oh makes my, my penis seem huge. Right, huge. cast a shadow over the whole snow globe. We the all whole do that. City in the snow globe. Oh. <laughs> you know, the other thing I do too once so as I try to, I, I, I'll, I'll bounce a couple mirrors so I can get it into my eyesight, and then I'll have it. Uh, you know, when you lie on the ground, you see a jet plane flying over. <laughs> And you yeah. go, my dork, I can't even see that 747. My dork is so big. It's completely blocking it out. Look, it blocked that part of the sun. It's as big as half the sun. Until those balloons show up. Uh. All right. Uh, Frank? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. So well, what uh, was your question exactly? Well, I want to know, like, what's the pros and cons about my site? Because we did some, um, you know, research and we've seen some pictures about how it goes wrong. And there's scars above the, you know, hairline and all that. So yeah, hairline. You're talking about his extension. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> she had a beard. said hairline. Yeah. You want the boobs to be bigger, than, be bigger than the beard. Trust that. What is your wife now? She's C cup. Well, no, she's actually like a, like a, yeah, like a C34. But we have two kids, so they're like hanging. <laughs> oh, that's the, cool. On that's, the down low. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. The DL. Well, we, we know so we, we want to fix them the up DL, a little right? bit. She wants to bring them up. All right. Yeah, bring them up and, you know. So, so no. I was thinking maybe she says no, and this way, you know, none of us get nothing, but she said right. yeah, so now I'm pretty much stuck, and now, now I have to do it. You, you don't have to, to do, do it. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's wrong with yours, man? He's, you, he's a man of his word. Eh? Is, she, is she complaining about your schwanz? Well, we have two kids, you know. I want to, I didn't have, she had it natural, so, you know. Is she more. complaining about it? She had him natural, Drew. So is she complaining well, about it? It's not really that she's complaining, but she says, well, there's nothing wrong with you getting bigger, you know? Uh, well, then she's complaining about it. Well, well, she's well he's like, threatening. Well, no, no, it's like here's throwing a hot doing. dog down a hallway. It might, no, be, small, but it's, it uh, might be small, no, but it's not broken, right? She's calling his bluff. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. All right, so. Just don't. Frank, it sounds healthy all over the place, so that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Frank. Frank. Being parents. You're yeah. 25. You have two kids, for God's sake. Get a boat. Get a boat? 
Yeah, here's here's what you need to do. First off, how much uh, how much disposable income do you have at twenty five <laughs> where you can just get plastic surgery for the entire family? Well, I, I, I work for a good company and I make pretty good money, so all right. Would not pay ten grand, ten dollars though for a copay for an amount. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Well, well, okay, but pretty good money. I'm going thirty five under under fifteen grand an hour. Is that bad? I'm going like thirteen, thirteen, an hour, seventy nine an hour to get a new yeah. ding dong. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. Let me see what good money. Frank, what's good money? How much an hour? Uh, well, for everything, I believe they were telling me it's about four thousand. No, no, you, no, you. you. How much an hour are you making? Oh, I'm making twenty five dollars an hour. Ooh, that's Jesus, nice. that's good money. How you much should have had? Have your balls done too. Yeah. <laughs> Tuck those things up, man. All right. Yeah. Your balls are hanging like a donkey. Like, your, your wife wants to do it because something happened to her after the childbirth. She's not feeling confident. Girls do that. Fine. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. But you don't have to do it, and you can uh, save that money for your kids' braces. Mm. Save money. You get the boobs. Kick it. Yeah, because your kid's like, sorry about your teeth, Junior, but Daddy needed to uh, <laughs> squeeze a couple penis. inches out of his dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, hindsight's twenty twenty. Let's not live in the past. The important thing is his daddy has a huge Kids penis. Kids starving, but his dad's packing. Yeah, really. <laughs> you can't play soccer this year, but check out my pee-pee. I got you one cleat. So that should be, your, that should be your plant foot, by the way. One cleat. Uh, one cleat. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a little break. Uh, Drew, what's the matter? <laughs> we got to take a break. Yeah, yeah, I need a break. Sugar Ray in the hizzy, right, Drew? For one, Chizzy. For Chizzy. For cheese. We'll be back. Love line, madam. That's Dr. Drew. Craig and Mark here from Sugar Ray. Yeah, baby. Ow! In the Pursuit of Leisure, name of the CD, and uh, it is out. You can uh, find it in stores as we speak, or you can go to uh, www.sugarray.com. Was uh, was getting uh, .sugarray.com hard to get? It would seem like... Uh, Didn't we have to buy it back from somebody like they owned it, or was that something else? Was that like your thing? Like they own your name. No, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I would hope it would be, but I don't think it was. I think it was available. That's the scary thing. We just got it yesterday, too, so we're very excited. <laughs> <laughs> True. You got your name? No, I don't anymore. Don't have you really anymore. don't? No, after that, all. That yeah. sucks. You had it, and then what happened? You, it got, well, somebody right. else owns it, and they got sold, and they got sold, and they got sold. Oh, really? You got to buy it every year. Yeah. No, no, no. This... That that thing you did the concert for, remember? Yeah. That was when I was part of a company that owned that, and they sold to Dr. Coop, and then they sold to somebody else, and then they sold Did you get a piece? Us. They have these guys that buy them, of course and they, they try to, like, whore no, you out. No, like, I didn't. That was yeah. money from The whole thing just got completely trashed. I had a guy buy my name and imploded. See, what I did is I just made a porn site for my name to begin with, so no matter what, it just becomes a porn site. <laughs> so it's a bummer for everybody. That's not funny. <laughs> Anna? Yeah. Anna, you're on five. <laughs> you're, uh, you're actually on three. You're 21. <laughs> Not bad. Odd number. On hold for a while. Oh, been on hold for 120 minutes. I've been on hold for a very long time. Yeah. You actually called before the show started, right? Yeah. All right. Hold her, Luke. I'll hold her for you. What's going on? What? Um, okay, so I've had a few sexual partners, and... <sighs> Love you. I, the only time I could orgasm before is when the guy went down on me, or occasionally if I was on top. But with my most recent boyfriend, I mm. orgasm every single time we have sex. All right. Is he really cute? That's tragic. Yeah, he's cute. All right. So what's the problem? All right. Good I'm just asking. I don't know if it's... Two hours. Well, for one thing... You're, you're, <laughs> I think this guy's bringing it from the hip. That's what it well, is. Well, for one thing, you're older. Yeah. And sort of things 21. kind of start to hook... Around 21, 24, yeah, things start to fit together. It's like a man. baseball man. It gets broken <laughs> it's in. It really starts in. working. You oil, oil it up. That's the one. Park the car on it. Number two, you're really into this guy, right? Yeah. That helps. And number three, uh, is there some technique you've sort of developed, like well, on she, top or something? She gets on top. Yeah. She rubs no, the button there. No matter. But she said, it's new. It's is he doing something or are you doing something? Is he crooked? Crooked? Is, who, is he doing something or are you doing something oh, that you've um, learned how to do? I don't think so. I think, I mean... We're young people. We don't. Okay. Well, that, then that, there's your answer, honey. <laughs> Maybe he's got skills. Drew's... Uh, Drew's instincts are always right on. The ones who are on hold for 120 minutes. If you read the screen, doesn't look any different than any of the other ones, but they always they always have no personality. And Drew knows. How do you know, know Drew? I don't know. I just have an instinct it's about years. what you years shouldn't years be getting to. It's because two know, hours funny, later. The people... No. But you know what? You know what? Yeah. Have a great reason call. for that. She's happy. happy. There's a reason that no, but I it, No, but I also... Also, I think... 
I think uh, Anderson uh, brings up a point, which is they've been they've been in purgatory for two hours, and then it's like go, and they're they're half asleep. They're like deer deer in the headlights. Oh, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? All right. What the hell? We'll have to do an experiment. Take a bunch of calls I don't want to take up front. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See if I'm right. Aaron. Hey guys. How you doing? You're 17. Yeah. What's up? First of all, what's I want to say, Adam and Drew, you guys have been the most reliable friends I've had for the past four years, and you've saved my ass a thousand times over. Thank Whoa. you. For that. I agree. Thanks. That's only 30. That's, what's that? 17. God. Yeah. I had a question like... for Mark. Uh, the last time that ICP was on Loveline, they brought up a story about. Violent J almost getting laid by Pam Anderson if it hadn't been for Mark. And I was wondering if uh, Mark remembered that and if he had a take on it at all. <laughs> you pansy. Yeah, what happened with that? You know, it's all true. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for me, he would have he would have made love to Pam Anderson. Come on. You know what I mean? <laughs> what I actually love those guys a lot. I'm a huge fan of those guys. And um, we hung out one night at Crazy Girls, which is a, um, a gentleman's club out here in Los Angeles. And uh, hilarity ensued. So much love to ICP and much love to their fans. All right. That uh, I, th I think I think better for guys like uh, Violent J to think that somebody stood in the way of uh, their penis and Pam Anderson's vagina rather than the reality of what would have happened five minutes later. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? You don't know with Pam, do you? Keep hope alive. Yeah, think about it. I'm Pam's a great girl. All right, hey, she's, that's not cool, man. She's a uh, no, she's a dynamite lady. No, you know, she's no really cool, it, and but... like, uh, and, and you know, Bob Kid Rock, respect for him too as well. But uh, no, I, I, I've hung out with the ICP guys at Crazy Girls. We had some fun, and you know, when you drink beer and you look at naked girls, stories, things stories happen. ensue, things happen, and people enjoy themselves. All right, so you know, there's nothing more to say than that. So we're right. going after we leave here. Yeah, Crazy Girls tonight. Rennie or Renee? Uh, what is that? That'd be Rennie. Renee. Right? Renee. Renee. Really? There, there's no place to put the accent there, but it's Renee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Renee. Hey, what's up? You're 19. Yeah. What's happening? Hey, 19. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Hey, yeah. That never works on anybody. She doesn't know Steely Dan. <laughs> I wasn't talking about Steely Dan. I'm talking about Good Charlotte. Oh, really? No, I'm kidding you. I'm burning it. Renee. What's up, Renee? Hey, not much. Hey, All right, what do you want? What are you wearing? <laughs> 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 what do you eat tonight for dinner? <laughs> Chinese. Good night. All right, I'm going to hang up on you. you got to ask your question. Okay, um, I'm getting my clip pierced tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, please. We'll take two. Right? <laughs> what, Drew? You never had a clip pierced before? I love your reaction. He had his I'm hood done, but he never actually had it. Clitoral hood or the clit itself? The clitoral piercing and the queef, and Mark is like is on the ceiling. <laughs> Just because it's the stuff we know about. We can talk about fun? it. <laughs> Clits, farts, piercing, I'm in. Queefless. So, are, are you sure about this? Um, I think so. I just want to know if there's any precautions I should take or if, like, I don't know, if there's any Ice? reason I shouldn't. Yeah, what? Well, uh, you want to see, to check the training of the uh, individual who's piercing you. Sticking a, a spear through your clothes. Yeah. Let's make sure he's went to the highest level check, institution. Yeah, you go, go into only. his office. If you, if you see the plaque... That Harvard says uh, has a guy saying you want it when and the guy laughing <laughs> yeah. holding his belly on the ground. That's how you know it's a reputable <laughs> piercer, right? Yeah. You want to see where his postgraduate training does. You want to make sure the licensing board is up to date. Yeah. That there's a certification and specialization. A, yeah, all those things are highly controlled for somebody sticking a piece of metal through a body part. Make sure Slayer's Rain and Blood is playing on ten when you're doing it. <laughs> all right, and they'll be going. And you're easy. doing you're doing the clit, not just the hood, right? Um, yeah, the clit. Mm. All right. Now, I have heard some cases of Good people times. not just getting infected and the usual kinds of risks with that, but has becoming desensitized as well. Ouch. Either too sensitive where they like can't wear pants or desensitized where they don't Why wear Why would much. they wear pads? Pants. Just pants. Like pants? Just, just the, the, the ring rubbing up against pants. It was so uncomfortable. What happens you when you go ring through... Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash, doesn't it? What <laughs> happens when you go through the metal detector at the airport? We, we, asked seem, somebody, yeah. Yeah, we asked somebody this the other night, and they said no. No. Detect. Really? Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, uh, the, the uh, my nail file must be crushed, by the yeah. way. But, yeah, uh, my nose clippers, I can't even get through. But right. the clitoral hood's going through that, fine. They put that wand over you. It's going to have to be kind of yeah, a Don bad wand. Time. Spinal tap wand. <laughs> hey, Renee, you sure you want to chance this? What, I mean, what if something goes wrong? Um, I don't know. Well, like, it's going to increase my sexual pleasure, I heard. No. So. It will increase not, mine, for or, sure. Or, or not, or make it a lot worse. Or oh. bum out every guy that goes down on you. But nine out of ten dentists say yes. <laughs> All right, Renee. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, really, do you need? Does your, your clit need help? It really, it's not not no. not sensitive enough. Well, I don't know. I just 
It's okay. It's okay, but like my boyfriend wants me to, and yeah, uh, well, well then of do course it. he does. Do I want you to, but do you want you to? Um, yeah. The clit is a terrible thing to waste. You're gonna, you're gonna, taste. <laughs> you're gonna disfigure a body part to make your boyfriend happy. Yeah, he's gonna be gone in uh, nine weeks yeah, anyway. Of course, be in the army in a year or so. I was thinking about that uh, you want it when you thing abused? that they uh, have at businesses sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And I'm always amused at the businesses that have the FU placards like up behind the guy. Like he goes, uh, I could do it and it would it take five minutes or you could help. It'll take a half hour. Like <laughs> those things like you, where you go, what, what's your point? You're about, yeah, a hell of a dry cleaner you're running here. Like, like you see that in like machine shops and stuff like that. But I just like those, hey, asshole, get away from the counter signs that are all over. Like, like sort of verbally abusive small businesses yeah. like what really? is that about a mistake on your part does not constitute an emergency on my part right of right those. i just i love all that like i and i like hurt by i like that small business thing like i like when they use like a piston for an ash train i like when a business has a dog that sits around and stuff i like all those touches i just don't like the real sort of aggressive f you for coming in here <laughs> thing. and a lot of businesses think it's a great idea like just all over the back being right. salted for being a consumer is always fun right yeah, right Right, Jeez, right. Man, yep. like a... Yeah. Uh, then, on the other hand, I don't trust the ones with the picture of the eagle yeah. either that uh, has some uh, platitude from some uh, Cat Stevens song from <laughs> 1974 either. You mean Yusuf Salam. Yeah, that, that feel, I feel it's compensation. Yeah, Me agree. too. But, yeah. but I, do miss, I do miss businesses that had junk. Like uh, if it was a muffler oh, yeah. shop, they would make a muffler man yeah. out of busted <laughs> mufflers <laughs> and put him out front. <laughs> like some guy, like Rick would get stoned and he'd get the Healy Arc out and he'd make the muffler dude that they would drag out in front. And also they used to mount stuff on the roof. Yeah, lots of stuff on the roof. They yeah, used to cows, just giant yeah. guys holding yeah. tires and yeah. donuts and stuff. Like you used to be part like, of the country, though. That's just this part. You used to be able to count on huge stuff on the roof of places. Yeah. I like it when they take a whole piano or like a gutted car or a right. sofa or something a like hot dog box. Oh, there's always something shark. they put up Don't there. Know. Yeah, like uh, like a stuffed shark. Like yeah, I know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know it says Western Apparel on the outside, but unless I see the 70 foot uh, fiberglass saddle on top, I'm not going to be convinced. She's like, what? All right, we're going to take ourselves a uh, little break. We'll be right back. Everybody, that's the show. Uh, I got a bunch of thanks to uh, give out because it's Thursday. It's the end of the week. Uh, First, I want to thank Sugar Ray. I want to thank Mark and Craig for coming in here. Tell everyone to go out and get the uh, Pursuit of Leisure and uh, check out www.sugarray.com. Always great to see these guys. Thank and, you guys uh, very much, man. man. It's a lot of fun. fun. Always a good time, and uh, let's not make it uh, so so far between next time. I want right to thank, uh, l- well, let's see. Who do we got? We got Lauren for doing a great job. Junior, 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 producer Lauren. Producer uh-huh. Ann for putting her feminine stink uh, all over the show. <laughs> thank Michelle. Our new uh, engineer uh, out here at K-Rock. Assistant uh, engineer. Unacceptable. Assistant. Sorry. Yeah. Assistant. Sorry, Anderson. Uh, <laughs> Michelle for doing a great job. And uh, the magic fingered one, the uh, Liberace of the potentiometers, engineer Anderson. <laughs> and, of He's course, uh, Brian for doing a great job, theoretically, because I haven't seen him all week uh, back at uh, Westwood 2. And He's so until well, next please. time, this is Adam Crawler for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. You need to take a big swim in Lake U. (laughs) That's right. This has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Engold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.